Hey guys, welcome back. Today in The Untidy Artist, we're doing another fun project for the holidays. We will be making a candy cane fairy doll. This doll was a really sweet little addition to my holiday fairies. I saw some cute embellishments at the craft store and I got this idea to do her. So let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a fairy doll. You can learn how to make a fairy doll on my basic fairy doll tutorial. You can click on the video right in the upper right hand corner there. It will take you to my YouTube video where I walk you through step by steps how to take a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire, and some embroidery floss and twist it into this cute little doll. The next thing you'll need are some flowers, and these are just some white flower petals I actually had left over from another project. I have some white thread, some red thread, and some black thread, and I've got some really pretty bigger chunky um, glitter, and then this really fun bakery twine that I thought looked candy cane-ish and fun. And then here are the cute little embellishments I found at the craft store. And I've got some beaded trim here I thought would be fun to do something with. Some sharp scissors. And I have my glue gun set on low. It's easier to work with the glue. And with that said, let's get started. So the first step is to obviously make your doll. Once again, check out that basic fairy doll tutorial. I will take you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your doll, and then you're going to dress your doll. So I'm going to give her just some red clothes. I'm gonna grab my red thread and dress my doll. So she has a little V-neck top and a little pair of red shorts. Then I'm going to take my red and we are going to make some knee high or even thigh high socks for our doll because we will be putting boots on her. So I take my red thread and I'm just going to wrap up in an even layer to give her some socks and you could even give her tights if you wanted. And when you get up as high as you'd like to go on her socks, you're going to wrap back down in an even layer and you will follow those same steps on the other side. Another small dab of glue, tack everything into place. And it doesn't matter if you cover up the tip really well because we'll be adding some black shoes over the red. So it doesn't look very perfect, but it's totally fine at the very tip there. And once she has her socks, we're going to grab our white thread and we will be adding our stripes for our candy cane. So decide which side you would like the stripes to go. And I'm going to put a small dab of glue kind of right by her waist and wrap the thread around a few times to secure it. And then I'm going to start wrapping it up from the back so that we get that thread at an angle because we want angled candy cane stripes. And it helps to add small uh, tacks of glue in the back also just to hold everything in place. So I take it around about three times, tack it into place, and then move up just a little bit. You want to make sure that the stripes are even. And once you get up to the top, you're going to take the last stripe up and over her shoulder. So you can see in the back, it's not perfect stripes, but in the front it is, and we're fine with that. So another dab of glue, and then we're gonna tack that into place and we've got our stripes, and then we're going to do pretty much the same thing on her socks. But this time we're gonna start at the top and I put a small dab of glue on the back of her leg, and then I just start to wrap at an angle. And just wrap it down at an angle all the way to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, actually I didn't take it all the way to the bottom, I got close to the bottom because we're going to be adding shoes. So decide how high you want her boots to go and then make sure that this, the stripes go a little bit past that. 
And when she's got her stripes on her socks, we're gonna grab our black thread for our boots and I'm going to put a small dab of glue on the very tip of her foot and take the thread up and over the tip. Then I'm going to start wrapping up over the piece of thread that I'm still kind of holding into place. And I'm gonna wrap in a thin th single layer over the red and over the stripes. So lots of wrapping for this one. And once I get as high as I want her boots to go, I'm gonna put a small dab of glue and take the thread back down to the very bottom. And once I get to the bottom, I'm going to add some more glue and finish off her shoes. Now, when I use black thread, I notice that sometimes the glue will show a lot. So this is the perfect time to grab your hairdryer and use the heat from the hairdryer to melt the glue. Um, it makes it so you don't notice it and it makes it clear. So now you're gonna set her aside, grab your flowers and any kind of white flowers will work for these. Um, this was left over from another project and I thought they were fun and fluffy and cute. And so I'm just cutting an X in the middle of each flower because we want it to slide up and around her waist. And you will notice that if you put shoes on your fairy dolls, you might need to make the X in the middle of the flower a little bit bigger so you can slide it up and over her shoes. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge glue. You can use craft glue, um, tacky glue, anything like that. And I'm going to take all of the petals and I'm going to dip just the very tips of my flowers in the glue and then I'm going to dip it into my glitter. And this glitter was a little bit bigger. I loved how sparkly it was and it kind of made it uh, stand out a little bit more than really fine glitter, but any kind of glitter would work for this part. And so I'm going to do that on all of my flower petals. And then you wanna make sure that you set those aside and let them dry completely. Otherwise you're going to get glitter and glue everywhere. So while that's drying, I grab my doll. I'm going to style her hair and I decided to just put it in a side ponytail and then twist it. So I twisted both pieces of the hair one direction and then I twisted them together the opposite direction. And you can style her hair any way you'd like. If you'd like, please check out my curly hair tutorial. I also have a really fun, fancy updo hairstyle for a fairy doll. And when I get to the bottom, I'm going to take my baker's twine that's red and white and I'm just going, I actually wrapped it up and around the top and then I wrapped it into her little twisty braid. When I get to the bottom, I'm going to cut off all the scraggly ends, give her a nice little haircut. And once my flower petals are dry, I'm going to start with the smallest petals and slide them up and around her waist. And you can see it's a little bit trickier getting the flower petals over her shoes because they are a bit bigger with all of the layers of thread. So I just slide them up around. I layer them as I go. So they're not sitting directly on top of each other. You want them to be layered in a way that gives her a nice full skirt. Small dabs of glue, kind of tack it into place as you go. And once she's dressed, we're going to add a few more embellishments. So I found these little they're actually buttons, and there were a couple of cute candy cane ones. And I decided to use this double candy cane. We're going to put it right in the back of her dress, almost like it's a bow coming down. Just tack that right at the back. And this is what she looks like at this point. And the last thing we're going to add is a little crown on top of her head. And I found this really pretty white beaded trim and I'm just going to, I found the easiest way with this because it's really, um, it almost falls apart really easily. So I put a small dab of glue, wrap it around her head, add another dab of glue, and then I trim it. Otherwise, if you trim it, all of the little beads come unraveled. And that's it, guys. You're all set. You have a candy cane fairy doll for the holidays. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can do that. You can check out pictures of projects I have coming up and you can also post your own pictures. I would love to see fairy dolls that you've made. So if you feel like sharing one of your fairy dolls with me, you can do that on Instagram with hashtag untidyartist 
or hashtag untidy artist fairy dolls. Please check out some of my other tutorials. You can do that at untidyartist.com or on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would love your support. And if you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again to all of my awesome subscribers. I appreciate your support and your sweet comments, and we will see you guys next time.